seated here, it's a man called Adriano Mazzotti. And more said, I'll ask them to stand up. Because these are the two and part of their partners who have given us money on the day we were launching the EFF. When the IEC asked us to pay for money, me and Floyd had nothing. We looked at each other in the eyes and said, what is going to happen? At that time, they asked for 650000 and we had no means, none whatsoever. Later to be told through a telephone call, Mazoti has got a very unique voice. Brother, the money is paid. Then we knew that we were good to go. That is how the EFF was allowed to contest the first election in 2014. We, we are very proud of Adriano Mazoti and are not ashamed to associate with him. We don't know his business because he's not our business partner. He donated money to the EFF like all of you who bought tables here. We never asked you, what do you do for your business? We just declared. We declared because it was not a secret that the money was donated by Adriano Mazzotti. So we do not run an underworld. We are running an above world. And do not be scared that we are part of anything Mazzotti does. Mazzotti has never been arrested. Neither has Mazzotti ever been charged. I've been charged. I've been arrested. I've seen the door of prison for my political beliefs. My properties were taken by SARS. I was thrown to the streets. But that has never happened to Mazzotti to be characterized as a criminal by those who hold a view that he should not have given the EFF money to register with the IEC. He's hated more for having made it possible for this organization to exist and give trouble to the establishment and white monopoly capital, which is just at the door of it, by the way. Once he jumps into that door and becomes a white monopoly capital, he will see the might of the EFF himself. <laughs> The world was experiencing a persistent conflict between labor and capital when the EFF was the EFF.